Oh, we back hitting you with the head crush new game in order we are in our next topic uh those of you who were are watching the director's cut got our little cell phone um psa type thing i was asking for some info and um i'm just ignorant to iphones so i learned a little bit of something but with that um xbox one exclusive phantom dust is supposedly um the trademark popped back up and we thought the project was dead so let's let me take a look real quick all right so phantom dust xbox one exclusive phantom dust resurfaces in new microsoft trademark so you know and just this <laughs> this uh freaking uh vine is is funny but with that hopefully games like this can uh you know help with the microsoft brand all right so i think um the filing date was january 13th 2016 all right so i'm putting it so you guys can see all right so it's worth mentioning that uh class 41 doesn't necessarily mean that if we're talking about the new game it will be online the class requires for any kind of online feature including smaller ones like uh, leaderboards or similar also worth mentioning microsoft has already a live trademark for phantom dust from 2003 also and that's from class 9 but is this good news i mean considering the morbid uh topic we had before how poorly microsoft is selling in japan um is this good news that phantom dust is still somewhat alive so i want to start with shinwar what are your thoughts well, that's the, that's the third time um, I'm not really known about, um, uh, Phantom Dust. Wait, you never played it on the original Xbox? Nope. Not Bro, a you don't know what you're missing. It's a very good game. Very good so game. unfortunately, I will have to pass on the topic because I'm not knowledgeable of this subject. You can't pass gas on the topic? Hey, really? it's alright. It's alright. Well, how about this? You know, so I can speed through it. Takuma, did you ever play Phantom Dust? Nope. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, on your knees. I know you play Phantom Dust because you beat me a couple times in it. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I tried to get you into it back in the day. Apparently, you didn't start liking it until like five years later. That's but, not uh, true. Uh... That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not true. We can have my deck set up and everything. That's a very underrated you had your title. What set up? You had your deck set up? I said my deck. My deck. My fighting deck. Never mind. Go uh, ahead. I just said your what? Your 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you guys. <laughs> I said decks. Decks, like card decks, like Yu Gi Oh! Oh, That's how the fighting oh. system worked. But you I like. You guys set up at Dick's Sporting Goods. What? What? Whoa. You know what? <laughs> this is all Noop's fault. This is all Noop's fault. And he had to go and take care of some stuff for this real estate. But on your knees, what are your thoughts? And maybe, uh, you know, you can educate the staff on what Phantom Dust is. No, no, no. Please don't, because I'm watching video and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all haters. It's a good game. But, alright, go ahead on your knees. Well, this is a good thing. Uh, well, it, it, you can't tell much from this because they might just be renewing because they're, they're still... What's that? Alrighty then. No, someone's loud thing came over the mic, so that's why oh. I stopped. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really indicate anything much. It could be just holding it because it's on the back burner. But, um, any news for Phantom Dust is good news. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll be make its way to PC. But, um, yeah, this is a great game. I don't know anyone who's actually played it who hated it or disliked it. Everyone who played it loved this game. Yeah. Oh, so man. Um, it, it's just a damn shame. It got a limited release uh, by Majesco back in the day. Yeah. I mean, to best describe the game, if you think like a third person, um, you know, arena, like beat them up. It's a, it's a mashup with a card game and arena fighter. Yeah. It's very well implemented. Yeah, and then you can, you know, develop cards for certain abilities like Yu-Gi-Oh! And then if you ran out of your deck, you couldn't attack anymore. And then the arenas, think of like Power Stone. Matter of fact, it was a lot like Power Stone, where you're running in third person uh, from, you know, the back view, obviously. You could actually dis destroy parts of the stages so people couldn't hide. And I think it was like four-player multiplayer, right, Chris? Like, um, yeah, four-player. Four-player, local and online. Yeah, and it was like Rumble Pit, like Halo. Like, you could do teams or you could do, um, you know... Free-for-all. Yeah. It, it was, you know, if I see that resurface 
for this uh, new gen. I'm telling you, that was a gem that didn't get the uh, praise and exposure that it should have. You know, so hopefully, if what Phil Spencer says is true, where they're gonna try to do Xbox original backwards compatibility once the 360 is done, that will be the first game I pick up. Uh, as long as it has online support, but all the backwards compatible stuff on 360 uh, mm -hmm. from Xbox to 360 didn't have online support, which uh, sucked horribly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? This topic is gonna be a two on one because I'm glad that you mentioned it because once everybody you know i guess uh we get through the phantom dust portion there was a rumor that microsoft was going to shut down xbox 360 online gaming servers and i think that would be a bad idea because now that the backwards compatibility is implemented you would defeat the purpose of some of those online games so that that's to kind of give a preview and you know we'll start from the bottom to the top but um Playboy, I don't think you played Phantom Dust, right? I don't know her. Okay, Goken didn't play because I know. But Nelson, did you get to play Phantom Dust? I don't like it. What? What? <laughs> well, hey. He's done. He's done. Kick him. Okay. What? Say again? I said repeat. That. I didn't hear you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nelson, what are your thoughts on Phantom Dust? Supposedly, you know, there was a somebody striking the match at Microsoft. For this game, um, they renewed the trademark for. I guess it's just for the online portion, you know, cl mm -hmm. uh, article or class 41. But um, do you think it's going to make any impact for Microsoft? And well, mm -hmm. let's just say for people who did not play Phantom Dust, you won't understand the hype behind it, like at all. Because I played Phantom Dust when it was out on the original xbox japanese demo where you had to input a code to access it to have the free um beta testing for the online yeah that game by far was the most in-depth like card based um game i've ever played because yeah. the the game had like somewhat of an in-depth story if you did follow the lore the, online, the ending was crazy though it was weird as hell like what the, the, the online and the the two on two teams or even the battle royal was insane like it made you think on your toes it was an original idea and i hope they bring out the new one and bring back the classic with uh you know a robust xbox live um you know play for mm -hmm. the xbox so it won't die mm -hmm. so man I'm really the game and i'm glad that they renewed it because they're still looking for a company to take uh to take action to actually make it make the game because microsoft is dealing with a lot of other shit so now here's the thing before you know uh, i switch to the other topic um what if let's say like a dream studio to work on it what if ninja theory not ninja theory platinum games got their hands on phantom dust still playing the same but with that over the top action i won't know because i've never seen um I never seen that company do anything something similar like that. They never did it like a card based game before. They mm -hmm. only did like nothing but high paced action shooters and hack and slash games. I never seen them take it like down a notch. But don't get us wrong, down. Phantom Dust is not like your traditional card game. Like you would have your deck and assign it to different buttons. So you had like X amount of times you can use like a blast attack. It was actually like a, a beat em up. It was. No, you would. Uh, no. The way it works, no, it worked like your your car, your orbs would spawn. Th those are your cards. Mm -hmm. Then you had to pick them up with one of the face buttons. You know, X Y B A. And then you uh, use it with when, that face when button. When you ran out, yeah, when you ran out of orbs to pick up, your health dropped quickly. That's why you couldn't leave them all out. But also, there were cards that you let you destroy other people's orbs. So there was a strategy. There were decks involved with that, where all you did would kill your other people's orbs and mm -hmm. run away. Uh, but yeah, you could use their button on a limited amount of times. You also had to get energy. The more mm -hmm. energy you had, the slower it regen, but it allowed you to use more powerful abilities. Yeah. So there were decks that were built around only having two energy. Uh, very fast-paced decks because you would constantly have two energy. But if you had like ten energy, it would take like five times, no, like ten times longer to charge up. So mm -hmm. there was uh, a lot of depth involved in this system. Yeah. Yeah. And Shin Raven said it was a battle arena mixed with uh, TCG. Do you guys agree? Yeah, that, that's what I said. Yeah, battle. It was an arena fighter with uh, training cards. 
That's okay. What That's all it is. I mean, you had a basic jump button with the analog stick when you, you know, you push it in. You also had push to, it in, to huh? sort. You have to sort your deck to the way how you play. Because there's a, a play style where you can use no aura, as they would call it. And you can just start fighting right away. But it yeah. also depletes your health. Yeah. Then you have things where people specifically only use fighting tactics. Where you would, um, let's say you have like nine aura built up. Yeah. And then if you hit X nine times, that's a nine hit combo. And it's unblocked. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know... It, you know we, we, you know what, the three of us have to do like a little, um, you know, what is Phantom Dust, and you know, maybe Shimmer right, even look, can look, join look, us look, with look. that. I, I'll do this. If no one's gonna stream today, I will do the Liberty and stream Phantom Dust. I still have the game. Uh, you have the original Xbox still work? I, I have the original copy. All right. I got mine too. I got mine too. I just had to set up my console. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So we're gonna um, move into the next topic. Um, you know. Rumors, they're talking about shutting down 360 servers for online play, which would defeat the purpose of backwards compatibility on X1, because if those games are still working on those servers, why would you shut them down? You know, but um, matter of fact, I do have the article for you guys to look at, but uh, why would they do that? that? That's, you know, Phil Spencer already weighed in and said that that's not true. Um... You know, don't believe the hype, and for whatever reason, people want to see that end. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but, you know, with that being said, I wanted to see what Shinwar thought. Like, do you think that Microsoft will shut down their 360 servers where people are still playing on them? Uh, not in the time so. Yeah, because that, I mean, why would they do it? I mean, imagine with Street Fighter and, and Ultimate Marvel and some games that are still being played on the, you know, uh, the system it's just it make no sense yeah it does. i mean how long did, did it take them to shut down the original ones oh for the original yeah. xbox yeah that it took a while it took like uh nelson i'm sure you can help me out with this one because i remember it was like towards the mid cycle or towards like mid end i would say like six years in you know what i mean i'll do yeah, some yeah. so i'm looking at maybe honestly uh, maybe in another year or so. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe, it's, yeah, 360 has too many titles, man. Too many Call they of Duties. Honestly, well, they could, if they give you a platform, let, they, I think they should do it. I don't know when they should do it. I'm not going to chime in on that. But what they should do is give people the ability to, like, say if I, I have a group of people, they can create some more business out of it, right? And they mm -hmm. just like, give people, like say, you have to install this application on this spec machine to mm -hmm. stand up the server, and then you can have the people log into that, so that that way they can not have to host it themselves, and people can host it and play the game. The game. Oh, like a uh, like peer peer type thing, like yeah, have exactly. them hook up to each other, exactly. you know? Because when I'm that seeing the that, article, that would be the best strategy. If yeah, they did that. That would be the way to do it. And that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But it looks like people can create businesses off of But it looks like they want to get them off that console. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm saying if you want to get, I think it's right for them to shut down the infrastructure for it. But mm -hmm. I would say they would need to open source a solution for those people who still want to play their games to be able to play them online. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And okay. if they do that, then they could, you know, just shut that down and call it day. I, I think PC games you can you can stand up your own servers and you can have your friends or the people you want to play with connect to that particular server. Yeah, you know, I also you think too what needs. Based. Yeah, Goken, not to I didn't mean to cut you, but to also oh, add that. to that, what before Microsoft does that, they have to make sure that the backwards compatibility has completely migrated over. You don't want to cut that service or or the feature, and then some games are like you know paperweights or hey you know what if it's an online only game. You know, like the 3D, uh, uh, 360 version of Destiny. Like, you can't play it no more. You know what I mean? If people are going to migrate over, and not to say, if you have the 360 version of Destiny, you might as well move to the X1 version, but neither here nor there. But they have to make sure that before the move happens, that all the games are working on the X1, so now we can finally lay the 360 to rest. But I think it's still too soon. They got to make sure... 
that the backwards compatibility is done and they're even talking about the next Xbox so ugh, Microsoft's all over the place they need to focus on one thing at a time you know but um, with that uh, Takuma what were your thoughts because I know Goken went Shinwar went I don't think um, Xbox 360 will shut down their services as just not they will shut it down eventually but mm -hmm. when they finally get the okay to kind of migrate everything over to Xbox One, then they'll shut down eventually the service. And I think it will be right around time frame um, when the new, I guess when the new Xbox One or whatever Xbox system console gets um, generated and made, mm -hmm. all that stuff is said and done, then I guess I'll get the okay to shut everything down. It's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a migration. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like a migration, like, like a Windows, Windows 7, XP, 10, all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As everything, it just, Xbox would do the same type of stage they did with Microsoft. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think it would eventually shut down. Just not right now because, of course, people are still going to play um, their Street Fighter 4s and everything else that they got for the services and stuff like that. But slowly mm -hmm. but surely, you'll see that migration. Okay, okay. Um, and on your knees, did you get to weigh in on this yet? Which topic were we on now? Uh, Microsoft. Um, you know, rumors. People uh, are putting rumors this, out about shutting down the servers. Yeah, they're going to do it at some point. Um, it's just a matter of when. They want to put people to the new console, but they don't want to alienate the current base. But like you said, it, it would kind of get rid of the um, backwards drive for backwards compatibility because uh, that was one thing that disappointed me. None of the online stuff worked on the Xbox games on 360. So uh, we'll just yeah. have to see when it happens. But it will happen. It's just a matter of when. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Playboy, what are your thoughts? You gotta give him a second. He might yeah, what's up? Yeah, um, well, I know your PC Master Race, but I just wanted to make sure I covered everybody. Like, do you have anything to weigh in on the, that rumor that they were trying to shut down 360 servers? Because you mainly play on PC, so I, I, I don't expect you to know much about it. Yeah, that's, I, I would assume they're doing that as part of their Windows 10 master plan. So oh. Like doing that. Try to unify everything into one. Yes, 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 PC Master Race, yes, exactly. It's the plan is coming to fruition, yes, yes. Yeah. That's, he got that PC Master Race like Hail Hydra, uh, you know, I can't imagine him doing... Uh, <laughs> Excellent. Okay, okay. And um, so I guess, you know, Goken and Nelson were in and out. But Nelson, do you want to wrap us up on this topic before we go into PSAs? As I was um, saying some time ago on a different podcast, if they're going to shut the shit down, shut the shit down. Like, I I'm just being realistic because you're, you're still trying to trickle out games that are not really coming out for the 360 no more. And it's kind of like you're beating a dead horse. The only thing that you can do if you want to be smart about it and you want to preserve your gaming catalog, change the infrastructure and put it over to the Xbox One servers and kill the 360 so you can save extra bandwidth and do something else with it. Mm -hmm. It probably will help with their sales too because 360s are still I, selling. I I don't think it's the same because I, I, I'm going to be real with you because I, I don't want to be like that guy, but... The only reason why 360s are doing well is because people are buying them to JTAG and mod them to get free copies of the games. Ooh. That's it. They're okay. not buying hey. it for the actual, you know, oh, I still support you guys. No, they're doing it because JTAGing with the 360, you're open up to, oh my God, you're open up to so much shit. It's, it's ridiculous. So people don't care. They just mod the shit. They put an external hard drive, have six terabytes on the shit. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to play Mame, I'm going to play Sega, I'm going to play Nintendo, I'm going to play Dreamcast, uh, original yeah, yeah. Xbox, blah, 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 blah. And so they, they don't really care about things unless if like, you know, let, let, me, let me speak on this uh, side of the house now. Mm -hmm. There are certain gamers out there that cannot afford the next gen consoles. Yes, that may be true. They probably still have a 360. They're probably still trying to get games. You probably even have like casual people like, uh, like an example, my uncle. He just recently got himself a 360 and he never owned one until just now. What and the he's heck? Not, and he's not a gamer like that, but he will he will dab every now and then to see, you know, oh, you know, this looks cool. Oh, okay, this looks cool. So for people like that, or if you're like a collector, hey, go for it. But 
honestly, they're only still doing well is because people are modding the shit out of them for tournaments and other uses. Mm -hmm. So. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so with that, uh, that concludes, I guess, the main portion of the podcast. But we're going to go into PSAs for those who want to stick around for that. I have quite a few of them. But uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check us out on newgamingorder.com. Please sub to the channel. Shout out to Full Screen, our partner. And, uh, you know, again, shout out to the staff members that cannot be on. <laughs> Uh, new pad to leave a bit yeah, earlier. Uh, Project Justice. I still gotta. I'll probably help him with the Discord today, but uh, it's all good. But with that, we are gonna go into our next segment. Make sure you join us for that. Peace. <laughs>